Hello everyone from Chelsea Fan TV. I hope you're all doing very, very well. Um, quick update, guys. Pedro Neto, here we go. Fabrizio said it. It's got to be true. It is true. Um, let's get straight into it. Who is Pedro Neto? Is he a good signing? The answer is Pedro Neto is a 24-year-old Portuguese right winger uh, who's been playing for Wolves. And he's a fantastic signing, in my opinion. For the first time this season, a lot of Chelsea fans will agree with me, we actually have a player that we have signed this summer that is ready, Premier League proven, and of the Chelsea calibre of player that we should have been signing this whole time. Imagine all of the other players that we signed were like Pedro Neto in terms of ready to play for Chelsea. We wouldn't be talking about top four. We would be talking about a title charge. But unfortunately, that's not the case. So let's go into this transfer. Uh, it's £60 million on a five-year deal from Wolves. There's £3 million of add-ons uh, for the Portuguese winger to come to Chelsea. He's going to add a lot of competition on that right-hand side. He can play on the left as well, but the right is his best position. So everyone that thinks Madueke was going to start this season as Maresca's number one on that right-hand side, I actually think it's going to be Pedro Neto now. I just think it's like chalk and cheese, isn't it? it, it you cannot compare uh, Pedro Neto to Madueke at the moment. I think Neto's just a better player. That, that's my opinion. Um, but maybe maybe I'll be proved to be wrong. Um, yeah, I mean, look, he's got some really, really good stats. One of the better players in the Premier League when fit. The problem is, can we keep him fit? And uh, this, is, this is the main concern that I have. Uh, I think a, a large portion of last season he was out injured. Um, he has had quite a few injury problems since he's been at Wolves. But when he's been available, he's been fantastic, right? So... This could prove to be a great investment, providing he's available. But we've got so many other players out there. You then ask the question, why do we keep buying injury-prone players? We've got Fafana, we've got Reese James. We've got all of these players that we can have. Um, and when they're fit, they're great, but they're not fit. So I hope that we don't have another issue like that with Pedro Neto. I really do. Uh, his goal-scoring record for Wolves is, is nothing special, if I'm totally honest with you. Um, he's played in 111 games in the Premier League. He scored 11 goals. He's got 20 assists. So he is more of a creative player rather than a goal scorer. But we're going to need that, right? We've got Omeridian, who's coming from Atletico Madrid. We've got Nico Jackson as well, Nicholas Jackson. He needs support to try and maintain the form that he had last season and maybe even get to new heights. Uh, lots of players are needed to boost this squad. And when I say that, I mean creative players who can break through the lines and break low blocks. Uh, we are trying to transform the way we are playing from last season. And I felt that we were always better as a, a counter-attacking outfit under Pochettino. We were better uh, against the bigger teams when we actually had less of the ball. And... Now it's the opposite, right? We are going to have the majority of possession most of the time. Pedro Net is a great player for breaking down low blocks. So I'm very, very confident that he'll settle in quickly. I'm confident he'll become a starter sooner rather than later. There's also rumours that Sterling is linked away with Juventus. Um, so it makes sense if we are looking to offload Sterling to get a, a younger, brighter player like Pedro Neto in the squad. Certainly an upgrade. And uh, I don't know the wage packet as of yet, but I can imagine, um, you know, we, we've got a, a half decent wage that doesn't kill the structure either. Um, yeah, so let me know what you guys think. Do you think Pedro Neto is a good signing for Chelsea? Are you as happy as I am? I personally would say he is probably the best signing we've made um, this summer. I mean, Jorgensen, you could argue, is a good signing as well because of the style of play. But I like Petrovic. I just think it's unfortunate. Um, and I think Tosin was a good free signing as well. But Pedro Neto, for me, is top of the list um, at this moment of time. I think it'll have a massive impact on the team. But only time will tell. Let me know what you guys think. And all the best.